Today I'll be painting the Warhammer 40k Demon Prince of Nurgle. Keep in mind, this is a fine cast or resin figure, so before we assemble, we have to wash with soap and water. Ironic for this being a Demon Prince of Disease. And we assemble with super glue, not plastic glue, because of course, if you use plastic glue on this, it will melt. So anyways, we prime with white, and because this is clearly a Space Marine turned into a Demon Prince, we will be covering how to paint Death Guard armor. Starting with Rakar Flesh on the armor bits. And then to make his skin stand out from his armor, let's assume that this is a tanner than usual Death Guard. So we have Breach Red from Vallejo. And then we highlight it with Barbarian Flesh from Army Painter. It is slightly brighter. Hammered Copper from Vallejo on the copper parts. Then Boof from Vallejo on the bone parts. Retributor Armor on the gold parts. Lead Belcher on the dark silver parts. And then we just coat the entire thing in strong tone so far. Castellan Green for his shoulder pads and whatever else area you want to be green. Tuscore Fur for the... Silver areas to start doing a rust effect. Flatter from Vallejo for the mud on his base. Crusted sword to have like a dried blood effect. Military shade from Army Painter on the green. And then we highlight the green on him with Army Painter's Army Green. If you don't have this, then Death Guard Green from Citadel is the best option. Royal Purple from Vallejo on his little tabard thing. Everland Sunset on some random spots, including his bold Junai. Tentacle Paint from Citadel. Nurgle's Rot to have a slime effect. And this paint is very, very, very thin, so make sure you put it on in layers and you have a little base coat of normal paint below it so you don't see just blank spots where the paint doesn't form. Oak brown because I put like a little log on his base because it was a piece of his sprue and I was meant to blend it in but I didn't do it really well so you know my Nurgle bases are basically swamp so whatever it's just a tree branch. And I put a crude skull on his base so paint his well, you shouldn't really paint his quills this color, but I did anyway. Whatever, he's going to be covered in slime later. And I do some shading with Seraphim Sepia on the yellow spots. And then to complete the rust effect, I kind of dry brush some Troll Slayer orange on it. And then to exaggerate how nasty his eye is, I put some red tone on it. Then I sort of got into the zone and I started playing black areas and gray areas with Vallejo's black and Cell's Dawnstone and then shading the Dawnstone with Dark Tone. And he has his little like bandage on one of his pipes, so I assumed it's like tape. So some Vallejo's brown sand and then Vallejo's Vertigress to do some Vertigress on his sword. I kind of left his like armored copper plane, but you can also add it to that if you want. And then purple tone from Army Painter on his tabard and like his exposed muscles on his arm. And then just dot it around also randomly across the skin to imply bruises. Some deco arts purple passion on his tongue. I also went to highlight his tabard with it, but I thought it was a little too bright, so I scrapped it. And then just as I thought I was done, I completely forgot he has his little head attached to his armor. So I was like, aw oh, man. So bone and then the flayed flesh, pile of witch flesh, and then his hair, wave bone. And then I hit the skin with mid brown from Army Painter, Seraphim Sepia on the hair, and then some and some Vallejo's burnt red for some minor blood effects. And here he is!
a mix of matte and glossy varnish to make him, you know, gross and slimy looking, sweaty, because Nurgle. And here he is next to my Slanesh and Corn Demon Princes. I just need a Zinch one now. I have an idea for a conversion, but I just haven't, like, got the parts yet. But what do you guys think? You want to see that Zinch conversion? Do you like my Death Guard Demon Prince painting guide? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments below.